Hey, yo, hey. Hey, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey. What the fuck are you about? My pizza pie, yeah? What the fuck are you on, huh? Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Dungeon Discourse, the show where we sit down with me, the DM, and a couple of players to just have a good old conversation about our show. Oh, yes. Splendid. We do? Yes. Indubitably. Today we have Soko, which is a rare opportunity because Soko is a busy boy nowadays. So we finally have Soko on. Been here since like May. (laughs) Exactly. So we finally have Soko on the show, which is great. And we have Shatter Geek, our guest. That's me. Shatter has a what, like three sessions under his belt now on uh, DS? I think so. There was one where they met two and two on the ship, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, So three sessions under your belt, and uh, more to come, obviously. So, uh, and well, I find I this mean, dynamic funny because last time we had Shatter on a one shot, him and Soko really didn't get along, like in character wise. Do we got to so, bring that up? So it's, like, a fun, it's a fun way to kind of make, maybe draw a comparison, you know, compared to last time. What happened again? What happened how, again? How are the characters, you know, vibing together now? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Well, I'm ready to kill his character that. again. Abby, how's it going? Good to see ya. Shatter's number one fan in the chat, as always. Big up, big oh, up, yeah. Abby. <laughs> I had a number one fan, dude. Everyone just seems to want to kill me off. Dude, the funniest meme of like latest. Bro, it's kind of, okay. It's just Boppo and the Valorant rocking, homies that do that. Yeah, Boppo rocking up and just being like, "Yo, I'll donate bits if you kill Soko." <laughs> like, yeah, that's not how it works, man. The, the worst part is, is Pacheri, he's a poor maybe, college but... student too, so he's like actually just spending money that he probably would spend on the <laughs> otherwise. I mean, dude, like five hundred bits. That's like two cups of ramen, dude. What's he doing? <laughs> That's, that's that's dinner twice, and he's given it to, I mean, to he, us. He, I mean, he ain't gotta worry about that. Nah. No, Papa Muto. Yeah, it's uh, it's good to have you. It's good to have oh. you. Um, obviously, we have a we have a little format we go to. But first things first, I want to make some announcements. Um, as you all know, we're all in some way connected to the Level Select uh, community. Dungeon Select is a a a, a production, I guess, uh, born from the Level Select community. And uh, as Level Select, we started doing charity campaigns twice a year. And uh, Fall Charity Select is coming up. It's around the corner. We're in the discussions of deciding the timeline. There's the ideas floating around either October, November, or like halfway of October to halfway of, Oct- of November. So there, there's, there's discussions going on on the exact timing of it. But obviously with that in mind, as Dungeon Select, we always do some charity one shots and, and whatnot uh, for, for these fundraisers. So that's going to be happening again. So anywhere throughout October, November, depending on when the charity event is going to happen, there will be a couple of one shots here. Maybe the end by me, maybe the end by someone else. We'll see. I'm going to be DMing one because Boppo gave me that fucking million dollar idea of um, the, like Hunger Games type one shot where people can donate and drop care packages of like items and shit on the map somewhere for a certain player, shit like that. That's going to be really fucking fun. So I definitely want to do that. Uh, I can't wait for people to to donate money to Soko. So like, kill Soko. I can't. I can't wait to die. Happen. And it'll yeah, actually so, happen. So, so like like poison stuff. Like oh yeah, there's some poison food. Super cool, dude. Yeah, Super right, right, right. Die. So that's gonna be fucking great. Um, and there'll probably be some other one shots as well, and stuff like that. So soon, TM. Uh, it's right around the corner. We're working on it. Uh, I'll announce it when um, the decision's been made on on what the exact time frame is. Um. Dude, while we were preparing for the show, word got out that uh, Queen Lizzie has passed away. So, uh, uh, rest in peace. You know, uh, she had a lo- she lived a long life. How long did she end up reigning for? Plus. Seventy years. Nineteen fifty-two. Seventy. She's been the queen 70. for seventy years. 70. Yep. That's mad. You know, that's crazy. Yeah, honestly, I was rooting for her to hundred. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, she's she, ninety-six, right? Yep. So, yep. I mean, dude. That's a lot older just, than most people. So, yeah. like, shit. You know, I'm not gonna fucking make it to 96. And it's, dude, you've seen me. I really I'm, hope I don't. Dude, I, I'm lucky if I make it past 50 at this rate. <laughs> like, dude. I don't. I, I, I'd be good to make it to 50. And then get there and then I'm done, you know? I'm obese. Oh. I smoke. I'm not making it past 50, y'all. <laughs> just throwing it out there, man. <laughs> no, no, no. I can see you hitting, like, 69 and then he's like I'm done. dude that's a good age dude if i hit 69 bro uh if i die at age 69 i want my fucking headstone to say nice 
That's Dutch. It. How about for your 69th birthday, we just go do something fucking wild? Go on. Like, it was 69 right. different Hear me out. At the Fly same me out time. to America and go, Hear America me out. go to a titty bar. It's not that wild. Yeehaw. No, dude, let's like go like fucking do something actually crazy, like wingsuit through the Grand Canyon or something. Motherfucker, I'm afraid of heights. That ain't, that ain't fucking happening. Exactly. It'd be perfect. I went to Australia like years ago <laughs> with a couple friends and they went skydiving and they were really trying to get me to skydive. I was like, nope. Where are you, where are you going to be landing? Oh, on that beach? Yeah, I'll see you there, bro. Oh, I, I stood oh, on that beach and I watched I, them I, jump. I, I threw up when I went skydiving. I was like, I'm not skydiving, motherfucker. Uh, we, like, we, can, we can find a way. You're, you're 69 year old. You're sad. No, we, can, we can just get you up there. Like, oh, we are going there for a We can just drag you up you, you won't fucking. Dude, I'm a big boy. Resist, old. I'm a big boy. I can. I can. I mean, you'll be you, old, bro. You ain't, you ain't fucking. You'll be still old, at 69? At 69, you're like. Oh. You're decrepit. Uh, no, nah, when I hit. Like a 69, ass. I go through like my anime old man phase where I suddenly become buff as fuck and I'm like this super buff old man. What's, sure. You know? Like Uncle no. Iroh in fucking After the Last Airbender when he's in prison. He just gets fucking buff, dude. That's gonna be me. 69. Alright, so we're sending you to prison. Or yes. like for like five days and then he becomes his Yeah, like just five again. days, bro. That's like, all I need. I'm buff as fuck in like five to, days. Starts to drink tea again. <laughs> like, okay. If only it was that easy, dude. <laughs> dude, Uncle Holy Iroh shit. is actually a daddy, you know? Yeah, but you have to think, though, for Iro to get that jacked, he had to have been jacked before and just fallen off because he had that base built, you know? Because you can't I mean, build a base like, like a... that. Later he, he was a military man, right? Before yeah, he, yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. So, like, uh, he, he, was, he had to have been yeah. jacked. He probably was. Just a general. So. And then the old age hit in, and he was like, I'm just going to drink tea and eat well, snacks. That, that, that happened before. Okay, because he I, another general, one's because an Avatar subject, came. real quick, so. I have to ask. Oh. Thoughts on the live-action remake of the cartoons by the cartoon maker? Uh, because it's being made by the people that made the cartoons, Hopeful. I have Hopeful. hope. You know they did I mean? say it's not going to be the same, though. No, and that's fine, because the thing is, it's like, um, The Walking Dead. Started off as a comic book. I didn't like Walking Dead. No, 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 but it started off as a comic book. Right? That's, that's what it's based on. And all the characters are there, but some characters that lived very long in the comics died very early in the show and vice versa. And I like that because it keeps the fan base on their toes, because like, it's Grand scheme of things, same thing, but with enough details that are swapped around to be like, oh, I didn't see that. Does it like I mean? ruin? I don't, I don't know. I'm just scared that no. it's gonna go bad. It's like, okay, so right, Lord of the Rings came out with their like little Amazon series. I haven't uh -huh. watched it yet, but I have not heard good things. Yeah, no, me neither. But I hear the majority of the bad things that you, that they that that are is around the fact that they have people of color in the cast, and I'm like, dude. That's Why the only bad thing. Okay, that, that's that's the only none bad of the thing bad things. I have not heard of so bad So many people are that. like bitching because there's black people in a fantasy show. And I'm like, dude, yeah. holy fuck, it's 2022, man. What the hell, dude? That is well, the only thing. Someone I've, is a good I've actor or someone it. is a good actor. Who the fuck cares about their fucking ethnicity? Straight yeah, up. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't, I don't care what they look like as long as they're good at acting. Right? Like, who the, the, the fuck cares? The problem is, is when you get people that can't act. Regardless. Elves aren't supposed to be black. Who the fuck are you? Are you Tolkien? Like, shut the fuck up, you know what I mean? Like, Jesus. Are you an elf? Dude, that would be wild for... <laughs> like, fuck Tolkien me, Tolkien rises dude. from the grave, dude. Comes I out. saw a tweet uh, about this. Uh, fucking Elijah Wood and... Uh, Who? Frodo, motherfucker. Oh. Uh, dude, I don't know actors' names, bro. Elijah Wood and the two guys who play the other two hobbits, like the funny hobbits. You know, what about Shake and Breakfast? I forget their names. Um, Pippin and, um, wearing like a shirt, being like, you know, all four, you know, yeah. everyone is welcome here, and like elf ears in all like colors of like, you know, all like ethnicities. Very cool. Oh. Good people. Oh. Um, Dude, Abby, that's wild. I didn't actually know that they were planning. Mary, on. yeah. By the way, Pe Pepin and Mary. Female protagonist yeah. in GTA 6. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've heard about that. But, like, people, people are dumb, dude. Like, fucking yeah. current generation. Pop culture fans are the it's worst. Uh, is the worst group of people to exist. Like, fuck me, dude. Dude, literally anyone that graduated high school after me, I don't believe in you. Trish, You're not real people. Yeah, literally. You're all a simulation. Yeah, no dead ass. Um, and it ended after me. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, we're going to talk about DD and, and Dungeon Select and all that. So, I. That's what we do here? Yeah. So we had, oh. I had my announcement about the charity oh, okay. stuff. Anyone else have any announcements that they want to share you know, while, you, while you're here? Uh, I think me and Quib are going to be doing our final cage lock stream on Monday of next week. Hell yeah. You going to fucking kick well, his we've, ass? We've been playing some like head-to-head -head Pokemon shit. So if you like watching that shit, check me 
Boy you Bao. Uh, I am currently. Nice, 42. my G. Yeah, he fucked me in the last battle though, so. Oh shit. I don't know. It's a good watch. Can recommend it. It's nice to watch. Dude. Me and Sokor are going to be playing Temtem on stream soon because it's out now. Let's go. Dude, Duke's down too. Is Duke down too? So, Fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. Duke, Duke, I was like, Duke, Let's go. it's just going to be a chill stream hanging with the boys while fucking around on Temtem. And he's dude, like, Temtem was fun. Right, like when we played early access, I had, was. I had a blast. It was only fun when we were hanging out together. It's not fun to play by yourself. I tried yeah, to hop no, on for like 30 minutes yourself, this morning. It's just, just, just different, dude. When you're playing it's by yourself, so it's just bad Pokemon. When, you, when you're with the boys, yeah. it's fun as fuck. Dude, they I use stamina for moves. What the fuck? Like, the, the one thing about Temtem early access that bothered me was like, oh, I can't go there yet. Oh, I can't go there yet. But now I can because the game's out. So I can just yeah. fucking go anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's going to be fun. I think I'm a lot further ahead than you guys are, though. I should start fresh, bro. What the fuck? Oh, dude. Of course. Of course we're going to fucking start fresh. Hello? Uh, bro. Of course we're going to start bro. fresh, motherfucker. Just a lot start, of work, though. Yeah, just start fresh and start collecting their equivalent of shines and stuff. Dude, there's like a trade like market now. You like you can sell your Temtem. Oh really? Like in, that's and sick. items to some people. That's yeah, sick. yeah, yeah. I was looking at it. Today. <laughs> but dude, the prices that people want for like the perfect like IV Pokemon or whatever. Yeah, you know, of, course, of course, of course, of course, of like, course. Wild money, bro. That's funny. Um, all right. So first things first, I'm gonna give you guys a little recap of what happened. Uh, Obviously, uh, we missed a couple of weeks worth of sessions due to uh, just end of summer things. Really, people being busy and all that shit. But we're back. Everyone was around. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's. There's always like so far we're doing. We've been doing DS for like what four years. There's every summer. There's been uh, like, six. No, five. Not six. Five this five, five in September. Either four or five. Five or six in September. Either four or five. Yeah. Um, and. There's always been, every summer, religiously, there's always been like a, a period of like two, maybe three weeks where we've been like, oh, guess not, because people are busy, which is normal. It's summer. It's fucking summer. Um, so yeah, I those, those weren't the weeks I missed. But... We started so... off with the gang on the ship being surrounded by sirens. We had a good little, little combat start as the ship was being attacked by sirens, where uh, one crewmate was seen being pulled overboard. But uh, Jax managed to uh, zoop him back up out of the ocean plop him on the deck of the ship so that he could be healed and saved, which is epic. So, uh, no man overboard yet. And then he died yet. later. That uh, wasn't the same guy, because so, he was like... No? Still, no, he was in the, oh, he was in the, the infirmary, dude. He, was, like, he still has this fucking gaping wound that needs to heal, man. He's, he's, I, I, thought, I thought it was the same fucking guy, dude. And then we saw the party uh, brave a storm, where uh, the entire party had to be on their toes, make sure that the ship made its way through the storm with uh, our trusty Kai behind the wheel. Making sure oh. that the ship never lost its direction, or its course, I should say. Uh, saw one crewmate go overboard, unfortunately, but you know, say la vie. Um, and then we ended, it, we ended it on the third day of their five-day trek. When the party saw a ship on the horizon. And as they got closer, it was made of white wooden planks with like a crimson dark red finishes on like the railings and, and the masts. Sails completely tattered, and the ship was called like it had its name uh, on the on like the back on the back side, um, the White Phantom, and that's where we ended it. So, and you let me see what that means. Uh, what that all entails uh, this Sunday. Um, how are you guys enjoying? Or how have you guys been enjoying the last few sessions of London Select, just in general? Oh, hold on. I'm just happy. I'm first of all, I'm just happy I can play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I'm honest, that's me. You know. <laughs> never get to play so whenever every time i get to play i'm quite happy uh, and like i also quite like the character i'm playing i feel like that also helps a lot because the last time i played i played with a character i really didn't like mm -hmm. or uh uh during a one shot and this time i'm like i like the character i like the whole piratey stuff that's a bit I really like pirates as it is so i'm uh and it's also just nice, where it's not just combat, it's also not just role-playing, it's a nice mixture. That's what I try to do with stuff. DS in general, is I try to make sure that, yeah. you know, because my favorite thing about D&D is fucking dungeon crawling. Which is the thing I, I feel like we too. do the least in this campaign, purely because, you know how hard it is? Like, if you do it too much, because every dungeon I need to design completely from scratch, like sized rooms, need to make sure that there's shit in them. A, it's a f lot of fucking work to make a good dungeon, and B, if I d make it so that that happens, like, every fucking week, then it's gonna be fucking yeah. boring really quickly. But whenever we do get an opportunity to do, like, a proper dungeon, like, oh, I can tell you now, when you get to, like, the islands where you're, gonna, where you're gonna, where you're gonna have to find 
undead man, which I've forgotten the name because I know my notes open, guarding the trident. It's gonna be at the end of some fuck off dungeon under underwater. Uh, dude, you know I, I feel mean? like it's like, gonna be like some like undercroft crypt kind of like vibe. That, that's like, like when uh, I first heard about it, that's like what I thought. Well, it's basically it's like, the it's way like the, like... The, the way it's been described to you is that you need to go to like a group of islands. So it's gonna be like you know yeah. you, you'll find a, a tunnel network on the island somewhere that just <laughs> leads down deep, deep, deep into some fuck off. I don't want to be here. Murder hole. You know what I mean? It's gonna be fucking sick. God, the earth is flat. <clears throat> Love underneath it. <laughs> Dude, if you dig deep enough, you'll get to China. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean if the water's flat? If you're deep, uh, deep enough, you just fall down. Yeah, just fall through, man. And that makes the world dope. Ooh. Like, if you dig a hole deep enough, it'll just be a, a hole in the earth, which is flat. It's just so the Astro Sea. That, that, no, it makes, just makes the earth a donut from that point on, because it's all in the middle. Ooh. Oh, what, what if we're like a floating, like, think of like a. I don't know. Think of like a pizza. Right? The world's what? a pizza. It's flat. It's in a pizza. circle. Okay. 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 But all around it is the astral sea. Right? Okay. I've been reading the Spelljammer book a I lot mean, too wouldn't much. That wouldn't that know, mean that it. the prime material plane is technically within the astral plane, which is kind of fucky? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, like so the way that like the Spelljammer stuff describes it uh, is that like you basically have like for however big your object is, there's an air bubble uh, that same big that's like actual air around it. Mm hmm. So you're basically kind of just floating in the astral sea anyways. Dude, was it was it Spelljammer that it was about when either yeah, Wizard of Coast or D&D &D had to like make an apology about some like racist <laughs> shit or whatever the fuck? <laughs> Apparently, dude. I never saw it. Apparently, Koiba and Lauren and all the rest of them did. I just when saw I read the book, it, it must have like, been removed. Oh, we're sorry about including some blah, 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 racially. Some blah, like blah, monkey blah. enslaved race oh, or yeah. whatever. But now they're just happy yeah. that they're alive. I don't know. Yes. I, I, I just avoid that. <laughs> I... Mad. I hope I didn't. You know I mean, <laughs> it's a madness. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. I, what I wanted to ask. Um, uh, well, I, we'll get into my questions for you guys uh, in a bit. Because first things first, I like to kick off before we get into like serious discussions and stuff. I like to kick off the show with uh, a little a little snippet of D and D Twitter. Uh, so I went looking, you know, in a second called what I like to call D and D Tweet of the Week. And I found a really good one that made me like, I want to, and I want you guys to answer this question. Uh, so the tweet goes, and it was tweeted by uh, Limitless5e. What is your character's theme song? So we'll start with Soko. If Jax had a theme song, what would it be? <sighs> That's a tough one. Hold on. Let me, I'm thinking of a song right now and I can't remember the name. Mm -hmm. I believe it's from the 60s. I mean, hey. Jax is old, so that, that adds up. I hope that's not... You know, you, you know what this channel needs? Whenever you do, like, Tweet of the Week, like, little... And then a little... A little, like, set, like, a proper, like, a animation yeah. shit. Anyway. Yeah. You wanna make those for us, bro? Because I can. You are 70s. <laughs> if you're watching, and you're If cool. you're an animator, <laughs> <laughs> you wanna make us some fucking scene transitions. Hit us up. Dude, I can't remember the song. You want to keep looking and we'll just quickly transfer this question yes. to Shatter while you look? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, gee, what would be, what would Kai's theme song be? And if it's not some kind of like sea shanty thing, I would be very disappointed. I feel like, I feel like Ocean Man. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that checks out. That checks out. I, I feel, don't I, like, uh, what's that shit fucking, what's that song called? Soon may the Wellerman, that one, dude. Yeah, mm, Wellerman. Yeah, but uh, Ocean Man yeah. is fucking. I think a, I think Ocean pick. Man. That's a good. I think pick. Ocean Man fits. Can't find the stupid song. Yeah, song Dude, like, I don't know who would be the like. What would be like a Jack song? Honestly, blue do 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 what up? I'm blue. It's like he's lived so long. It could be like anything, really. Yeah, man. I mean, like if you look at Jax, there's like look at the character art, for instance. What like what's like the first song that comes to your mind? You know, that could also be a way to answer it. I'm bad at pairing music with things. That's fair. That's right? fair. <laughs> um, I'm actually terrible at that. You want to know what my pick would be for Jax? Okay, let's hear you it. Know, having experience with the experience, knowing a little bit of like, like what he's like, how he acts and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like Jax has a really like good appreciation of like, I wouldn't say, ah, oh, maybe a little jazz as well, but I feel like Jax, you know, when everyone else is asleep, he puts his fucking beats by Dr. Dre on or whatever the fuck, and he just blasts some like 
some like some like Metallica or some fucking Rolling Stones. You know what I mean? That's kind of that's what I was thinking, dude. But I can't find the song. You know, he's bro. fucking tinkering on some shit and he's just blasting Master of Puppets. You know what I mean? Like while doing it or some shit. You know what I mean? I was thinking yeah. the opposite. I was thinking maybe projects like um, uh, "Calm After the Storm" from the um, "Common Limits" that uh, that we sent to the Eurovision. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, like you know, because after the, after the whole playing a pirate stuff, and then oh, you are like oh. after that, so the calm. It's or, fucking or, paint, like paint it black. Or some paint shit, it black by oh, the yeah. old Rolling Stones. That was the song I was thinking of. There you go. There you go. Outside of that, or some like Stevie Wonder or some shit, dude. I feel like Jack yeah. would blast some Stevie Wonder. <laughs> He's an old soul. <laughs> yeah, Jack's is, Jack's is a hard one, dude. Like if you said to Ronk, I was like, ah, oh, Brooks and Dunn, dude. Brooks Fuck and you. Dunn, dude. Yeehaw, Bruce brother. Good and Boogie, you know. <laughs> oh, shout out to the fuck. Oh, dude, I I love a good Brooks and Dunn meme. I really do. Just. <laughs> Have you ever listened bad, to Brooks bro. and Dunn, Shatter? Probably. Ever, have you ever listened I've to had uh, heard Boot Scoot. Have you ever I... listened to Boot Scoot and Boogie? Yeah. That's such yeah, a banger. Yeah. Yeah, such no, a banger. I'm, I'm, I am terrible with song names and artists. I, I had a good job. I work hard for my money. But when it's quitting time, I hit the door running. Fire up my pickup truck. You know, I saw it, dude. It's such a fucking dude, banger. that is dude. all Duke used to sing <laughs> yeah. when, he was, when he was Tucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck. Oh, man. Those are the days. Like, Take me back, honestly. Uh, oh, fuck. I don't know, man. What would you think uh, different. some theme songs were would be for uh, the rest of the crew? So for 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 Cass, uh, for, for Daddy. Daigans would je- definitely be just like some like classical music, I feel like. Because hmm. it's not too... It speaks louder with the actions and yeah, the like song. song. Good, good music is enough, doesn't need lyrics, that kind of yeah. vibe. Just, just some like yeah, good old yeah. Mozart or some shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that dope Beethoven, bro. Bah. Um, Davian definitely lo-fi, because I, 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 yeah, yeah. Twelve hours, twelve hours of lo-fi beats to to hunt and set you on fire too. (laughs) Just just instead of like the the lo-fi girls, just Davian sitting there with like bird in the background. Yeah, (laughs) Lazarin is just violins. Just just Just, violins. Just violins. I'm, I'm, I was thinking, like, also maybe violence with a bit, a bit, a little bit of trumpet in there. I feel like mm. trumpet also fits in. See that too, because it's also it's trumpets are also gold, so it fits the, also uh, the theme. And then I think Kess would just be death metal. I think Kess, yeah, for Kess, you definitely pick something that's just like you would never expect such a tiny. It'd be like death metal, tiny, like bubbly girl to listen to, and it would be some fucking death metal shit. Yeah. 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 I'm sure that her or, parents is like, I don't like you listening to that music. And she's like, Well, I'm gonna listen to that music now. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, that's yeah, checked up. Yep. Yeah, For out. Brooks, I'm all. I. I. This, he listens to some fucking like. I feel like jazz. No. Like he'd be no, the jazz no, guy. No. The Brooks is a little fucker, dude. I, I'm. I'm. I'm more thinking. I wouldn't either say 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 rock than jazz. I feel like jazz might nah, fit. Nah, I think he might be in that rave shit, R and B, hip hop right. shit, dude. He fucking walks up to pleasure. Nah. He walks up to pleasure late at night and just goes, "Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear." You know what I mean? Like it's some <laughs> shit like that. You know what I mean? Like that's some Tupac maybe. <laughs> what's it? It's uh, what's that? Fuck, is it fucking Biggie that has the Ten Crack Commandments? But it would be like the the Ten Ho Commandments or some shit, dude. Just like a like a parody. Is that Biggie or Fifty? I think it's Biggie. I think Biggie is Ten Crack Commandments. You're right with Biggie. I think so. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. No. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. You're right. That's that fits better. <laughs> it's the Biggie in perfect. Yeah. No. That fits. Uh. Fucking. It's his birthday. He just wakes up with. With birthday sex blasting through the fucking speakers, you know what I mean? Like that's that's God. kind of that's the uh, fuck. Yeah. It, yeah, it is Biggie with the ten crack commands. Yeah, there you go. Holy shit, dude! I forgot about that song. Banger, bro. I got, that's like a memory unlock right there. Yeah, they uh, they like I, they like pay homage. I've been listening to a lot of Hamilton lately, and they uh, in that in the Hamilton like Broadway play, they have the ten dual commandments, which is like a little, uh, little homage to to the ten crack commandments. Like it starts the same way and shit. It's very cool. Because Hamilton's whole shtick is like it's very R and B and hip hop, right? Instead of like classical yeah. Broadway shit. Well, number one, dude, never let anyone know how much dough you hold. 
Because you know that cheddar bre breed jealousy, especially if that man fucked up. True. Yo, Biggie was a fucking scholar, dude. Uh, <laughs> Hip hop was different, bro. It was different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, I have a couple questions for you, can, lots. Can, 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 for, I, uh, can I ask the question about the song back right back at you for like? Okay. What has been your like your favorite NPC so far, and what would their my theme favorite song be? NPC? Fuck me, dude. Uh, Death to Jacks. Hey, Papa. We were talking about you earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my fuck, my favorite MC. Th I I'll limiting it to this campaign. That's hard because I've had some fucking bangers. You know what I mean? There's there's some bangers out there. I fucking. I really I I like Captain Vera just because of the fact that she's very like Barbosa esque when she's on the ship, but she's also just doesn't give a fuck. Like she's very no nonsense. You know what I mean? I, I like that. Uh, I also really enjoy playing characters like Pleasure, for instance. You know what I mean? Like that shit's also just very funny to me. Pleasure's my favorite just because of how much you fuck with Lazarin. <laughs> Purely. Um, fuck, man. It's hard. Uh, but, like, characters like, um, like, like His Excellence, this mysterious, like, Prime Lord, also Ooh. really fun to play. So, like, I, I, I don't know, man. I find it hard to pick favorites. Um, fuck. General Kron is also very fun. You know what I mean? Like, mm. shit, shit, fuck, dicks. See no questions. I think pleasure, man. I just love how playful and 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 like seemingly innocent, but like she do be a hoe, like quite literally. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's funny. And the like. The way I can just kind of like mess with the party through her when they're at, whenever they're at the fucking bar and shit like that's funny. As far as music goes, dude, fuck. Her theme song would definitely be, uh, is it, I think it's just called "Ho" by Ludacris. No, but shit like that or like "Leave Your Hat On" is way too obvious. You know what I mean? Like that's way too obvious for, for yeah, a a but it's a good. Um. I don't know, man. Hard. I never really thought about this. Frick. Um. Okay. I feel, I feel like pleasure is a would be a prince enjoyer, like Purple Rain or some shit, dude. No. See that? Oh, yeah. I see that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go with that. Uh, OSG. That took me. This is your second bout on the Dungeons Like channel, but the first time in a proper in, in the proper campaign. Uh, how have you enjoyed being on DS so far? I know that we've already kind of went over it, but I specifically want to know um, because my, I always make want to make sure that 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 the the guest gets their spot time in the, in the in the spotlight. You know what I mean? Because we're we're a very chaotic, loud group as it is. So adding a guest in the mix, I'm always very worried that the guest kind of like falls into the background and doesn't get there their moments, you know what I mean? Yeah. So how, what's your experience so far regarding that? Um... Very, very positive. I'm, I'm not, the, not the loudest person mm -hmm. saying it. So that's very fair to say. I'm not yeah. putting it, I'm putting it lightly. Um, <laughs> I mean, compared to the other fucks, nobody's loud, you know what I mean? Hey, it's, it's kind I'm of pretty uh, quiet. When you're sleeping, maybe. No, anyway. I, I, <laughs> no I, I feel like, like I'm, I'm not the loudest person, but I also feel like whenever I say something, Someone's picking it up, so even if not everybody hears it, that I was like, Laura that came in, I think it was last session, I was like, oh, Kai also said something, and brings in that way a little bit, so do you know, it's just, also something I'm, I'm, I'm learning to be a little bit more out there, but you know, I feel like, for a quiet person coming, coming in, it is still very doable to get your moment and get the conversations going, because the party's loud with each other, because mm -hmm. you've been playing with each other for quite some time. Yeah, so when a new one that comes in, I feel, I feel like the group also like looks after the, the guest a little bit. Be like, okay, that's a uh -huh. little bit, a little bit. Cute. Where they're like, oh yeah, that's okay. They're, they're, they're saying something. Let's make sure that if so no one hears something. it. And then one person is like, oh, don't forget he said something. You know? Cute. Okay. We just plan to murder the guest before every session. <laughs> Dude, ever since Natty, bro. Ever since Natty. Dude, he guests. will always have the spot of, 
making us never trust like, a guest I, character. Or fucking like, I still don't trust OG's character. Yeah, I have no I reason guess, to not trust him. I don't trust him. The thing him. is, he is going to guess this campaign. Like, Bowdy is on the list, and he won. Fuck like, him. Even I don't I've give a shit. I'm killing his character. Bit. So, like, it's going to be fun. You also said that about my character, and I'm... I, just, yeah, but I, I got... The dragon, the dragon egg's around. gone. You can't do anything about True. that. True. The dragon egg is gone this time around, so... Dragon egg's gone. Natty, fuck, he's gonna come back as the same character revived from 25 fucking years ago. I mean, come to slay us for his new lord and master. Hey, you never cut his hat off, did you? <laughs> no, dude, it still drives me nuts. <laughs> well, we'll see, man. We'll see, man. Like, I, I still have nightmares <laughs> now where I'm like, oh my god, Natty be alive. He is. Is he actually? Like canon, you're like telling like me right now he's alive. Is alive. I'm done with this shit. He's old. I'm over so. it. He's he's old. I'm over it, dude. But he's alive. Now so goes having nightmares. <laughs> like he's, I mean, he was he was a changeling. Changelings roughly same lifespan as humans, right? I'm pretty sure. Maybe a little less. But he wasn't that old before, was he? No, but he, he, so he right now he would be like in his fifties or some shit. Yeah, that's fine. It's like he's older. Yeah, you know. But he's alive, yeah. Like I can, I can now. It's been so long. I can, I can, I can tell you, he, he did indeed get revived, and he is alive. Genuinely, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I think he could probably bring his character back in this campaign, and half the cast wouldn't even remember him. <laughs> like if you just like called him by name, <laughs> I don't think they'd remember him. If I bring, if I bring that character back, Natty would have to play him again. I'm not gonna certainly turn a player character into an NPC. That feels wrong. You know what I mean? Unless it's for some like real short like two See, that's my fear things. is that Natty plays him again, and then I really just start having PTSD. <laughs> hey man, we'll see. Um, never know. If you also, choose your also, own... also, huh? Sorry. I also quite like that. The other time I was here, it was also on a ship. It was like like a little theme going on with that. Who? Sorry. Me when uh, the, the the one time I played as a uh, replacement for Duke at one time. Oh. Also, I was also playing yeah, a guy that's true. from a that ship. Character was also, uh, yeah, 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 it's true, it's true, it's true. It wasn't a pirate though, right? No, that was more of like uh, a straight shooter, no. or a fucking like not necessarily just military, like a but trade like, ship or something. No, just like more, more of a normal sailor. Kind of. It was either on a trade ship or just like a like a ferry type ship where it's like yeah. they're, just, they're p being paid to yeah, haul people transport. to and from. Yeah. Um, not dragons, yeah. apparently. <clears throat> not dragons. <laughs> Dragonborn, maybe, <laughs> but dragons, no. <laughs> <clears throat> um, yeah, because like as a DM, I always and I, I sometimes I have to rein it in. Like sometimes before a session starts, I'm like, "Hey guys, listen. Last few sessions, I've noticed that there's a lot of talking over each other compared to normal. Coming, you know, because that has happened before. I have to like rein it in. Soko can attest to that. Like it's definitely happened before. No. So um, it's really important to me that we're a big group. Like six players to begin with is already a sizable group, and then adding a seventh player to the mix in the form of a guest. It can get very chaotic very quickly, so I, I really want to make sure that 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 people get their say, and that the guests don't feel like you know why am I here? I I've sat here for four hours and I've said like two words. You know what I mean? Like I don't want that to, to be the guest experience. So I always make I always try my best to like. It's happened a couple times where where you try to say something and I I'm basically like, what are you gonna say, OG? To make you know what I mean? Like that has happened before as yeah. well. That's just that's just like the downside I guess of having such a big group. Is that it's gonna happen? You know what I mean. But I try yeah, it's hard to pay attention when we all have the same idea yeah, about different so things to, and how to do it. It's uh, it, yeah. I, I try my best to make sure that everybody. Yeah, but also also makes sense. You kind of, what I went in expecting would happen because it's realistic. If you have a group of people, yeah, they're always talking of each other. Yeah, hundred percent. Especially because it's also it, a little like it's also the fact that we're doing it digitally yep. makes it harder. If we're all in the same room and there's two people talking over each other, everybody goes, dude, I can't fucking hear. Now that's digital, that whole like, you're not in the same room, so there's delay, people start talking at the same time for them, but in other time, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's yeah, that's very so that also amplifies uh, the chaos a little bit. Uh, we would not have nearly as much talking over each other if we were in the same room, because when you're in the same room with people, there is that like basic human decency of, oh, they're talking, I'm going to wait until they're done. You know what I mean? We just have more dice. Nope. So Oh, you would assume. You would hope so. You would, hope <laughs> yeah. so. You would assume. But Ethan and Koiba, dude, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shit, call him out, <laughs> Dutch. Fucking me, no. say, it say it with your chest, um, You know what? I fucking will. Ethan is the worst. He talks to people <laughs> all the fucking time. Fuck you, Ethan. 
Is that what you wanted to hear, Soko? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go Ben Zenito now. <laughs> Would you repeat it for the people in the back? It's just... Well, uh, I fucking hate Ethan! No, Damn, honestly. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, how do you feel Kai fits in with the gamer gang so far? I feel like he fits in better than I expected. Mainly Hello? because I felt it, it, it makes sense. I was like he and, and uh, Jax would go or go along decently because same kind of background, you know, private pirates. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like that's that's gonna go well. Uh, the way I I vision Kai will be as a as a character. I feel like he will just doesn't really does he doesn't really care about little, little quirks or people just blurting out the most weirdest shit <laughs> because he has he has seen some shit so I like he's taking half of it like it could be true and also half like it, it could be bullshit so he doesn't really care until it actually happens. It's everyone and every then... time Kess opens her mouth. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I feel like I, I feel like Kai actually quite like Kess. <coughs> Just because of the bullshit that comes out. Fair enough. Fair and he's enough. like, he's like, he's having a little, uh, a little, little chuckle in, uh, within him, like every time uh, something, something weird comes up, and he's like, "I'm saying it's bullshit, and if it happens to be true, I take my pirate head off." Yeah, yeah <laughs> kind of I'll gladly be proven wrong, but until then. Yeah. 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 No, I, think, I also um... feel like with the, with the, I think the biggest thing I will have, like with with, with Kai was. Character-wise, was going to be uh, Lazarin and and Brooks. I feel like those are they are quite different from each other, but also quite different from how Kai is. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's that's. I guess they gonna, they would be like they, they're Kai's, gonna be biggest, them. Kai's biggest opposites, I guess, in, in yeah. terms of of, of yeah. I feel, I feel like stuff. Kai will be in the middle, and then Lazarin is on one side, and Brooks on the other side, and he's cool. like. Not really sure what the fuck's going on here, mm -hmm. but that also goes better than expected. Also, because has Kai really spoken to Alessra much? Not really. No. What I do really like about now that we're on like Kai's home turf, you know, the ship, he can start to show the party his expertise. You know, like making sure the wheels is like the like creative. Like, oh, there's a storm coming. I'm gonna make sure that I'm attached to the ship so I can focus more on this. The, make, so showing, fucking smart. Showing that he's like a, an experienced, capable helmsman. Like, try, kind of like showing the party, like, hey, this is my thing. You know, this is what I'm fucking good at. And then, you know what I mean? So, it's, I, I enjoyed that uh, a lot last session, where you came up with some creative ways to involve your, your druidic side into your, into your, into your yeah. um, controlling of the, the helm. Very cool. Yeah. Um, Kai is a ninja turtle yeah. of getting pussy. Hi, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the other Yeah, I mean, man. he's got all the dragon more in the world on that ship, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> true, true. If you're being a, a, a ninja sort of getting it, does that mean that you get things without them, without they notice you're there? Because you're, if you're a good ninja, you kind no, of... It, it means you do it in the sewer. Like, ninja turtles are not yeah. subtle as fuck. They're, they're not, they're not subtle true. at all. I mean, like, huh? <laughs> yeah, they had movies made about them and a whole cartoon. Like, yeah. obviously, someone's filming them. So they're not that. Yeah, because so. ninja turtles are 100% real. real. They're 100% real. They true. exist, guys. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Go crawling around in your sewage and you can find some. Yeah, man. Probably. Probably. What is happening? Also, also um, it is quite fun. I think it was at the end we had like the whole talk about, and I was like, oh, if I had the whole, whole sex talk and stuff that was going on. <laughs> the turtle lore kind of says enough about how Kai is in that. Because they uh, are normally, they hook up with someone at the end of their life. Is that how that works? Wait, they, just, really? they just like mate when they're about they, to die. They have like the the whole thing is that they um they they get born, they travel most of the time. They have like one or two years where their parents teach them everything. Then the parents die. Then you go out, and at the end of your life, you return. You do your stuff. Do your thing. Make some offspring. You're like and you fuck yo. Off. Listen, uh, little Jimmy. This is what your dad did. See, I'm gonna. Yeah, but you can. I didn't know about that. You 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 can fornicate for fun, you know. <laughs> you don't have to make children, right? Yeah, I'm like, gonna leave you with that statement. Dude, the, the, the yeah, whole I mean, thing is like that. There's more. I'm not sure, sorry, if turtles would do that. I feel like the whole 
Hmm. I've, I've been trying to get closer to to some 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 um, race war and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why I really like how <clears throat> Kai came together because his druid class really fits with being a turtle. Yeah, turtles are very like nomadic, travel through nature, uh, protect yeah, nature. The, the whole thing. the whole turtle thing is about the cycle of the sun and the moon. And the mm -hmm. Druid class is about the cycle of life and death. Yeah. So you have the, the two cycles coming together. And all like a... Did you choose Turtle because of your class, or did you choose your class because you were a Turtle? Neither. It just worked out that way. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, I want to play a Turtle. Oh, what class am I going to play? Goes through the list. Oh, Druid no. sounds fun. Oh. See, the cool thing about you bringing <laughs> yeah. up Turtle lore, though, is you're the first Turtle that a non-NPC, like, that we haven't had, like, I guess, player character, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, first player character we've had on, so you can technically invent the lore, and it's canon, because what's Dutch going to do? Contradict you right in the middle of the session? No, I'll let you believe that that's real, because you have no other sources exactly. to pull from, and then you find a fucking, like, tribe of turtles somewhere. Like a turtle retirement exactly. home where they go to fuck, and then you're like, oh, <laughs> cows full of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... They're in the hells. <laughs> yeah. Huh? No, because I, I think I, I spoke to Dutch about what kind of classes I want to do, and I, I went for, like, two other ones before I ended up being a, being a druid. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I want to really like something piratey. I don't like rogues. So that was a no for Yeah, me. because we, like when I hit you up, I was like, you're, it's it's going to be, you're going to be on a ship. Like yeah. that's the other thing I gave you. It was like, you'll, you'll be guesting during the party becomes a pirate's arc. Yeah. Kind of thing. So like, so like, I, no. I limited you a little bit in that sense, I guess. Um, no, not really, because I could still technically play whatever I would yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it would still fit, but it was more like a, what, what, how I envisioned the character. And I was yeah. like, well, I want to do Sorcerer. Wait, I've already done, that, done the Sorcerer that makes most sense on the ship last time. <laughs> warlock. And that was just, just before Another uh, warlock, dude. Devian became a warlock oh right so, right, right, so we had to right, talk right. about like it's gonna be free would it be yeah it's a bit too much three but fucking then I went like, Wait, so I'm, like... I'm i'm going into warlock too now what he's here shut up yeah Bitch. i'm gonna worship Kess. buys gun to become a warlock not a gunslinger all right Dude, that would actually be sick <laughs> Is that is that your plan, uh, real quick, Soko? Like, do you use? No, you see... I plan never to multi-class at all. Okay, you lying? I mean, like, maybe in, like a wizard multi-class could be fun, but I don't know. Dude, I feel like our, 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 our tips are already pretty dope by itself, and I kind of want to just like see how the classes. I feel like our, our tips are like they're pretty um, broad Busted. when it comes to. The capabilities, you know what I mean? Heck, I mean, well, like, you have basically the Ranger Artificer, which is a better Beastmaster Ranger. And then you have, like, a huge damage one where you get to, like, place, like, cannons that can be, like, flamethrowers or... Isn't that one that's, cannon. like, your Iron Man? Yeah, that's what I'm playing. That's what, that's what you're playing, right? Yeah, that's no. fucking sick, dude. No, no, no. Um, no that's, my, that's my favorite one as well. I find it funny that, we, like like I said before, we go from OSG's character and Soko's character not liking each other at all to... Probably having that character's probably having the most in common compared to the rest of the party this time around. You know what I mean? It's a it's a funny little contrast. Yeah. And I'm still gonna kill his character. Why? Why not? Pride, bitch. Pride. I've had 300 years to plan it. Yeah, Kai's had like and he was still 12. Failed. So. <laughs> 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 um, we had some questions submitted by Beanie for uh. All of us, cool. Uh, Soko, how does Jax feel about being back on the sea, especially since last time he was on the sea, it ended up, you know, getting shipwrecked because of a storm? Definitely worried about that, especially because we we're trying to find the people that did it. So what's to say they wouldn't try to fuck us up again if they found out we were coming after them? Well, we aren't necessarily directly looking for them, right? It's just... Uh... We are, but we aren't. There's suspicions that, uh, no, that they really. use the artifacts to no, ruin no, us, right? No, 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 because the whole thing was is that Captain Vero is like this artifact is a tool powerful enough to fucking go oh, give him, give him what's there. Oh, that's right, that's right. We're not going for so, them yet. Yeah, no. So that would be uh, right. that was that's initially that thing. was Vero's plan. Was like we're gonna find this thing. I'm gonna use it to get payback, and then that's I'll right. get rid of it. That was for her, some reason. I like I like turned it around in my head where I was like, oh, they're yeah. guarding it or whatever. <clears throat> 
don't know why. But I don't know. He's I I guess anxious is a good word. Yeah. Because like now you know the uh, you know the high seas protectors aren't really a big deal. You know I can turn invisible. I can disguise myself. We have the letters that are forged. So unless they have someone like really really good, I look at that shit. Mm -hmm. Probably won't be a problem. Yeah. The, the whole thing about high seas protectors is like they're a threat within like uh they have like a perimeter set up yeah. around the areas where they have authority there'll be random patrols going from like one hot say like an Eldilon it's just really the perimeter that's the from issue. like an Eldilon to like whatever big port town in say Segalia or 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 the kingdoms and you know if they happen to catch you they are legally allowed to just check you whenever the fuck they want but yeah when you're in the vast open sea you're pretty much in the clear yeah uh, that's my thing, but like now it's like, okay, what are the party? What do they think? Because obviously they already think I'm fucking the captain, right? Like, it's been said a million times by almost every single one of them. So, you know, there's that to tiptoe around, I guess, <laughs> as well as just, do I want these people to be around this kind of life? Mm -hmm. it's like, I don't like not care about them. But I don't also, I'm like, but I'm also like, you know, I don't love them. You know what I mean? We're like, we've been traveling together for a few months. Like, we're friends, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life because we're not that good of friends yet. But I'm not sure I want to expose you to what I did for the past 150 or 200 years, whatever. Yeah, and I like how, you, you know, you saying that Jax was is a little anxious because of what happened last time. You kind of showed that a little bit because because of that storm. Your first question to Captain Vera was like, "You reckon it was them, dude?" So like it, that that does show <laughs> that it's still very much like in Jax's mind. You know what I mean? The first thing that popped in my head, dude. Yeah, it's cool. I, I like that. It's just a, it's a small touch, but it's a it's a good like detail of like oh, you know, because that indicates that oh, he definitely still has that on his like on his mind. Like, yeah, you know, I he's, don't want to lose their but... fucking character. Please, <laughs> thanks, appreciate it. Um, so yeah. Shatter. Already mm -hmm. kind of went over this a little bit uh, regarding um, your how you fit in, but uh, if you had to just get short, like one or two sentence, like first impression that Kai had, or like impression that Kai has from for each party member. Um, I think for Cass, quirky and full of bullshit, but fun to be around. Jack's experienced from the same uh, same cut, you know, they're basically in cut from the, the same, same boat. When it is in the same boat. Um, hey! hey. Um, so, that's more and more, I feel like that there's more respect because he obviously has heard stories and stuff. I mean, yeah, and essentially uh, so. what you do um goes hand in hand with what Jax used to do because you're the helmsman and, and Jax used to be and now again is to, taking on the navigator job so there's a lot of also like you don't know which way to go without Jax telling you oh that's the route we're taking you know what I mean and, and vice versa Jax can make a route but if there's no one to fucking steer a ship in the right direction capable enough to do that then you know what the fuck's gonna happen so Dude, it's, it's like we got in the pirating the same exact way too we were like both working for another ship and then kind of got taken over and it was like ah oh, fuck guess I'm gonna have to prove my worth or else I'm fucking dead you know? There really is like a lot of comparisons yeah. between the two, of, uh, <laughs> the two of you. Like yeah, when yeah. he started saying that, I was like, "Dude, is he like reading my backstory?" Like, <laughs> they Dutch like feed him this? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Genuinely, I didn't. <laughs> no, I know that's but it's just like fuck. <laughs> this is all him. He didn't because I made that up at the spot. It is during the session. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. That's incredible, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> I was like, oh I, uh, my gosh! I figured out how he became a druid. Never f got to figuring out how the fuck he got on the ship. I mean, shit, dude. It's kind of now. <laughs> so there we go. All right. There we go. Um, <laughs> I feel he likes Dagon a lot because she was the first to actually reach out to him. True, you know, taking him aside, having the first friendly conversations and stuff. 
still doesn't know that it was special that he heard my voice. Yeah, before before anyone else. Oh wow. So <laughs> the, I don't think he's I think he still doesn't really know if it was special or anything like that. Because it's like, oh, this is probably normal. Eh? Yeah. He doesn't know better. Um so he likes Daigon. Uh doesn't really care that much about the last room. He's like, oh, you're, you're here, but you're also a little bit, little bit snobby. I like that. It doesn't really. Yeah, I feel like that's what Koiba went for yeah. when he made the character, though. Like he. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like that's that's why Kai's like. He doesn't talk with anyone. I could live um, without you, but I don't mind that you're here. You know, like it's like that. <laughs> I mean, the moment you walk off the ship, you might lose some money, but who knows? Um, huh? Hmm. <clears throat> Um, I'll help. I mean, what? Um, what the fuck's up? Oh. Um. I think if I think that's on on uh, lesser, he's like mm, doesn't really has any connections just yet, because I don't really be in conversations. It's more like oh, because I feel like most conversations he got with lesser was at the start, when lesser was like, "Who the fuck are you?" Mm -hmm. Take keep distance, kind of thing. So he still is in that mood side, side a little bit. Yeah. He thinks he thinks Brooks talks too much. Me too. He likes listening to him when he's drinking, but also from time to time he just he just thinks to himself, just fuck off. Don't don't <laughs> don't understand what you do and what you are, kind of thing. <laughs> um, and with Davy, and he's like oh, a fellow person with a bird, so bird bros. He's like true bird bros. I, I can respect the bird. But also we like, you know, because he can he can see the whole ranger thing, so he also knows in tune with nature and stuff, so he also he also uh fucks with that. So I feel like he um he fits in quite uh well with most of them and then with like Brooks he doesn't really understand what the fuck's go what to think of him. Mm -hmm. And with a last range like hmm. It's the person's on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's fair, man. Can't like everybody, you know. Exactly. So I feel, I feel like like that's how how Kai stands with with, with the party. Okay. Um, for me, are you planning for ship travel to be relatively speedy or action packed and lo uh, or a lot of coastal downtime? Are we in some spicy ship ship combats? Okay. I can answer this without spoiling too much. Uh, there's gonna be something that happens every day, uh, because as far as like day to day encounters, there's a lot. Uh, you can do a lot of different things compared to encounters just on the road, you know what I mean? So I want to definitely abuse that while I can, or while I have you in that position, because there's a lot of cool shit that you can pull. Uh, like, you Daddy. know, that whole, like, storm rolling initiative thing and having to do things, skill checks, and pass under a certain amount for it to, you know, something that I can't really do when you're all on land, just walking from point A to point B, because, oh, we'll just take shelter from the storm, ha, huh? dab, in this cave, lol. Okay, you know? Um, there, you... <sighs> There will be at some point some ship to ship combat. I mean, the ship has cannons, the ship has fucking weaponry. Of course, it's gonna fucking happen. Hello. Um, <clears throat> a lot of coastal downtime. I mean, you're going to a set of islands, and you're gonna have to fucking find wherever the fuck this this man who I keep forgetting the name of, uh, the undead like champion of the bitch queen, is guarding that fucking trident. So there's gonna be downtime. Uh, well, we, not necessarily downtime, but you're gonna be you're gonna be on land at some point for a little bit. <clears throat> you know, for a few days, probably. Oh, beach time. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vacation. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> um, so, travel's going to be pretty action-packed. Coastal downtime, well, it depends if you, what you, under, what you class as downtime. And spicy ship ship combat, absolutely. Absolutely, there's going to be some fucking oh, yeah. ship ship combat. 100%. Oh, yeah. Maybe even 100%. next session. Uh, with, the, with the with the white phantom, suddenly these yeah, like bro. this like army of ghosts shows up with like these ghostly like see through cannons, dude. Who, Who knows, fucking man? knows, man? Who knows, dude? I wouldn't I be so. surprised. Who knows, dude? No, this is some like this is some cold. like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Curse of Black Pearl shit, yeah, where like shit. you're looking at this empty ship and there's just like an army of like skeleton pirates under your ship right now, just walking on the bottom of the ocean to climb up. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you just don't know it. <laughs> I mean, they're climbing up. Kai jumps off and just walks. It's good thing we him cast. <laughs> it's good that we throw cast out. Fight him. True. Uh, and also a question for me: uh, whether I have any moments in the last few sessions that I would consider highlights. 
Um, fuck. Whenever I'm done DMing, like when I when we do a session, I always like sit down and I like forget 75% of the shit we did. Because it's been like, you know, like I, I have so much shit in my head, in my fucking notes, everywhere. That I'm just like, it all becomes a blur. But if I just like think off the top of my head, I really enjoyed um, Celesti like basically showcasing educating the group about like the astral sea and and this like moving fucking star uh, system constellation whatever building rock uh, and 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 uh, i also enjoyed that i enjoyed that for several reasons one was because back in back in the early days of of this campaign's discourse i uh, the, th the three duos made um an npc on discourse and celesti is the first of those npcs that i'm chucking into the campaign um and i enjoy the fact that she brings with her just this whole this this is this like whole showcase of information regarding the astral sea the astral plane a plane that in the history of dungeon select so both campaign one as campaign two hasn't really been talked about or discussed or let alone been to it's it's a pretty new uh because we know about the elemental planes we know about the hells we know about the abyss Astral Plane, the Astral Sea, has not really come up yet in either of the campaigns. So it's always fun to ch chuck something new at the players and, and also just like broaden the horizon of, of, of the world and, and, and all that shit. Um, and my goal is, because for, for all of these NPCs made on Dungeon Discourse, they're going to bring with them this whole like story arc that the party can choose to follow along with. And hers is all revolving around like the, her, her upbringing and her need to prove herself and... Uh, the astral sea and this like this celestial body that moves around and dude, I, I really enjoyed that i really enjoyed how interested the party seemed in it as well you know what i mean we love conspiracy theories Dutch. give us more yeah that's fair <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair um and I, I i don't know i just i just liked the introduction of of celesti and and her her reception i guess because the party seemed to dig her a lot and and really went like went along with her rantings about well, Davian seemed a little too interested. So. This, 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 <laughs> this is like moving celestial body. You know what I mean? Like it's very cool, very cool. But I, I really enjoyed that. I think that, as far as like say like last five sessions, definitely a highlight. Um, other than that, whenever there's some dumb Kess antics, I always like I find it funny. Like us robbing our own ship. Yeah. Or potentially trying like to robbing that fucking like the whole party feeling like. Kai was hiding something when he said he had to check the cargo. Well, while wow, literally all he did was check the cargo. And then... Literally just the most basic... Brooks being shit. a fucking idiot. And Ethan does this thing where he's like, Oh, I know this, but Brooks is... And half the time I'm like, Dude, you just didn't know. And you're hiding behind the fact that your character is stupid. Shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes he gives me the air. And I f like, I'm convinced. I have... Tinfoil hat. Ethan... That was not Brooks. That was Ethan. That whole, like, why would they have to check food? That was Ethan. That wasn't was Brooks. You know what I mean? Like, that, that was Ethan. <laughs> that's my that's my theory. I just um, wanted to have a fun fuck around with Cass. That's, it's that's like, it's literally it. like, whenever Soka goes, that's the joke, bro. That's what Ethan did. Oh, okay. That, that's it's what not Ethan even close to the you know same I mean? thing. No, not that's, even that's, the that's like the Ethan version of doing that is saying he uh, he knew, but his character didn't. You know what I mean? Like, that's his version of, of that. And he, he does that a lot. Well, I know, I do... but Brooks, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm just, I'm just fucking slagging off Ethan today, man. I don't know what it is, dude. It's sorry, man. It's a I good day. It's a I good love day. you, bro. It's just it's been a long time coming. Well, it is um, International Hate Ethan Day, so yeah, true. Uh, fuck, that's funny. Um, <laughs> so I guess those are those are two highlights of uh, of the recent uh, sessions. Um, oh, not even a guest join. Who gives a fuck, dude? <laughs> okay. No Honestly, okay, no dude. No, There's someone I, I, no, else. No, no. To I, I always love the having. I, I love having guests. Uh, you know, we. You're the second guest of the campaign. Um, Vincent was a was a really good first guest of the campaign. Who's like Vincent? his Shut up. Um, because Sai <laughs> came. Like I feel like Sai came in at a time where the party was even more of a mess than they are now. And and Sai just kind of Pretty brought amazing. brought a little bit a little bit a little bit of spice a little bit of sauce, and uh, that was just a really Put a fun... little glue in the party, you know. 
it was a really fun story arc as well with with him and 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 you know he left he left when he left he definitely left behind like an impression like he made an impression on the group i feel like and that is something that i hope kai does as well like i want guests I, so. I want them to to you know i want the party to think back you know they've been doing this for two years whatever i want them to think i'd be like dude if Sai wouldn't have come along, we would have never done this. If if, if Kai wouldn't have come along, we would. You know what I mean? Like that they have something that they fondly remember the guests by. So that's always because I wouldn't have come along. We would have died in a storm. <sighs> you know, say lovey. Um. <laughs> 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 um. So guests are always a good a good time. It just adds a new dynamic to the group because you're so used to this one group. You get to know. You, you get to learn how they function. And you know how they function and. A guest always brings a fun new dynamic and and sometimes changes how the group dynamic will be even after they leave because they've they've seen like oh but that can, that works too oh sometimes it gives the party ptsd for the rest of their time ever playing dnd that's just you man that's just you dude no i'm pretty everybody else just has a, like an easier time forgetting no that's I just don't. you bro <laughs> Um, do you two have any questions for either me or each other? When do I get to build my rocket ship? Do you have 200 years to spare? Uh, dude, if I'm in the astral plane, I do. That's Fuck true. yeah. That is true. That is true. Yeah. You kind of need to get there. That's going to be, that's going to be a little bit. Ah, we can find like a pocket portal, man. Yeah, a pocket portal to the astral sea. Yeah, Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, 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 easy, bro. <laughs> Go one from the market, bro. For like one of those uh, random, um, what, what did they use in Infinite Crawl? Those random rods you use to just go to a new... Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll go find Morwen and get her to plane shift us, bro. Fucking yeah, easy clap. Easy, you're done. In no time. I am actually super excited for that, though, as like what? a follow up. What? Celestia's little quest. Like, I don't know if you know how far I've gone down some conspiracy theory, like, rabbit holes before. Mm -hmm. Just because I really find them interesting. You, um, you, you look like the guy. That would. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I don't buy into them. Yeah. It's more just, like, I want to see, like, why people think this is and, like, what they think about it. Just fall into, like, a Although YouTube, JFK is not YouTube, actually like... dead. He's actually running a shadow government, by the way. Um... Oh, he got shot. He, he got shot. Go down man. that rabbit hole. No, go down he, that rabbit he got hole. shot, man. It was literally... Go down that rabbit hole. That's all I'm going to say. Wasn't, like, broadcast? Him being shot uh, was yeah. like broadcast on yeah, live. Yeah, but that could have been faked. That's why they never found that he traced the bullet. Okay. Um. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, do you have any questions for me or for each other or or anything? You're like, oh, this is, what's to do with this Dutch? You know, any any of that? I don't know. I haven't got to dive too deep in Kai's life so far. Like, we got like a peak last session, but I yeah. want to like delve into his thoughts. <laughs> I want to know what makes him tick. Nature. Because like, we kind of got to do that with Celestia, you know? Like, she kind of, like, gave us, like, that, like, view of, oh, this yeah, is Yeah, but she's a fucking... She life. yaps, dude. She fucking... Oh, 100%. She, she's a, she's a yapper. Kai's not like that, so we got we to try a little harder with Kai. You know? <laughs> sure, we got to get him, like, yeah. on death's door, and, like, while he's dying, be like, Kai, what's your deepest, darkest secret? Just give him, like, seven bottles of rum, and he can talk. <laughs> there, That's there you go. I don't, don't think I've had any questions because I've all, all my, all, the only question I had was like, are we getting ship to ship combat in your eyes? I said yes. Of course. I'm already happy because I fucking love Of that. course, of course. Like two people in the party have been assigned the role cannoneers. Uh, yes, it's, it's you're going to get some ship combat. One 100%. of which should never have been told how to work a cannon. Yeah, life. that's true. Yeah, that's true. That was a bad choice in your part. Mm. <laughs> then it can't or, no, it wasn't any a better. bad or choice. A good it part. was a funny choice. Or a good one, because you never know how, it's, how it works out. You should have just put Brooks and Kess on the cannons. No, oh, it's Kess and Daigon, which is... I know, that's, but I'm saying you should have put Brooks and Kess. No, they'll, they'll find a way to shoot themselves or some shit. You know, it's... Drop a cannonball through the whole of shit. I would love to be, a, to be the martyr in D&D &D combat. Dude, death, death is a really great storytelling tool, man, in D&D &D It also especially. sucks. Like, nothing like a party death. Okay to really bring the rest of the party closer to each other. And I say Action, that, I'm, no. I'm absolutely, I'm 100%, I'm dead ass, I'm serious, like... Dude, when the wrong died last campaign... That dude, left, when Ash that died. Left, or, no, that, nobody gave a fuck. 
No, the only one that gave a fuck was fucking Sermaris, and he went down a fucking I know. deep, dark deep, fucking bro. spiral, man. That fucked him up to the point where he was on uh, taken under the control of a fucking god. <laughs> like that was bad. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. But I, like Narong's death left a mark on the rest, like really left a mark on the rest of the group, and really like that left an impression. You know what I mean? Can't shit on them anymore. They had to find someone new. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's not true. Bran was there. Bran's always kind of been a target. Uh, that's a good point. Yeah, you're right. Um, like, fucking say, and I don't want this to happen, right? So if this happens, this is not this is not scripted. I, pr I swear. But don't say bring Kai, it into the world. So like, like, say Kai, right? Like Kai's with the group now, and he does some epic shit, and they get to the island, and blah blah blah. blah. Big boss fight happens, and Kai dies. That would be the first time, really, the party would would have to deal with actual death in someone associated with their group while they're doing their adventures and shit and and that that would that would make an impression you know what i mean that would definitely change the way they think because um, they all like kai too if this happens now guys i swear it's not scripted all right this is just this is all uh what's the word this is all what ifs and and that sort of shit it's not it's um, nothing mm -hmm. scripted mm -hmm. sure. shut the fuck up osg you're not helping <laughs> it's all scripted. I can't confirm. I have the script on my computer right now, and I will release it for 50 subs. 50 subs to Dungeon Select, right? 50 subs to me and Anti-Dungeon Select. Okay. Fair. Release this. Oh. Yeah, he definitely has a script, guys. He has a script. Get the fucking subbing. Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Do you, like, I, this is also why, in our campaign, we've always kind of had this, like... Death is a serious threat, because if we were playing rules as written, death doesn't mean shit. The higher level you are, the more resection spells you have, death doesn't mean fucking shit. But, <laughs> um, but in our version, it's like, even Revivify isn't a guaranteed work. It, there's, there's some skill checks to be made, there's some... And the more times someone has died, that skill check becomes harder and harder, because uh, it, whatever form of afterlife they, they go into, has a stronger grip on them because they've already been past the threshold before that sort of thing so death is death is in that that is scary in Harsh our bitch. campaign and i want it to be because i want i want people to constantly be on their toes because i don't want people to feel like oh we're level 15 now <laughs> we're not gonna fucking be a die we're 15, basically gods jumps off cliff in the form of a goldfish you know what i mean like uh... the thought's there but the execution isn't <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, um, <clears throat> never check for tattoos under Kai's shell. Yeah, but that's because if you take a the shell of a turtle, they die. Shit. Turtles oh, I mean, it's worth it's worth the risk. It's worth the turtle risk. Turtle shells, they're like whole like whole ass fucking like spine and ribcage and shit. Like their bones are attached yeah. to the shell. If you take the shell off, they die. <laughs> that's that's not how nature works. It's it is worth the risk to check, honestly. You kill him! So... You fucking kill him! Will they do? Yes! Will they do? I mean, we have a revivify, it's fine. <laughs> you cannot unshell turtles, dude! They fucking die! You can't do turtles. Have Wait, no, no. You, know, you, have, you can do turtles, is... but you can't do turtles. Oh, They're different. You know, this is have ridiculous. Revivify. Because I've had this conversation, IRL, with some friends who are constantly talking about deshelling turtles, and now having to have the same fucking conversation with you guys because you want to deshell a turtle, which is just a turtle that walks in its fucking hind legs. They will fucking how do we, die. They, how do we know that even, if we dude, don't if try it? If you fucking do this shit, right? If you fucking do this shit and are like, oh, I'm going to see if I can take guys' shell off, he's dead. No resurrections. He's fucking dead. <laughs> if you use that logic, so why would you kill the turtles only live to 50 years? Huh? Because like, according to that logic, what? if you say turtles and turtles are basically the same, then explain to me why turtles are only live 50 years. I'm, I'm not like to whip my dick out on cam. Do it. Do it, pussy. Oh, you're pissing me off. Oh, if all I have to do to kill Lewis's character is take off the shell, then I'm gonna do it. And it's only three days to D&D, so you're playing a fucking dangerous game, Shatter. He'll forget. I'm a guest. I, I don't give a fuck who you are. Dutch forgets what happens the morning of d, &D. <sighs> Talking about fucking de-shelling a fucking torch. Shut the fuck up. I'm killing OSG. Oh my god. Kill me I mean, instead. Also, also just be I'm gonna a hang his shell arm, right? on my wall in honor. That's a big wall. There's a little clasp on the side and the front of his shell opens up. He's dead! <laughs> 
That's, a, that's, that's build... not just a little clasp. It's a fucking self-destruct button. He's dead. I I'm going to build him like a butt flap. Okay. I'm okay. Go over to this wall. They can like unches and, and I, I, I'm shell okay, guys. I, yeah, sorry. Okay. I, I lost my cool for a little second there. Dude, I'm, I'm can I make a mechanic turtle? Yeah, but you won't be able to deshell him. Yeah, I can. If it's a mechanical one, I can. I'm going to have it like pop up on little hinges like a garage and have like a fucking like place where you can like go inside it and control it yourself, you know? Like a bodysuit. That's what I'm using the Arcanite for now. I mean, gave me, who, yeah, who you says gave me the it. wooden leg is real? Maybe it's You're the one that told me it's super powerful, alright? And I've got two of them. Oh, turtles will die. Dude, imagine, oh, dude, dude, I wonder if I can build a nuke with that Arcanite. You probably could. You probably fucking could. You probably fucking we, could. Are you gonna? Broke. No. Well, Fuck you. Why maybe. maybe. What reason do Jax have to make a literal nuke? I'm dying anyways. It's fair. Uh, Dice could be watching the shell. Shoot, it's sassy! <laughs> you know what's in the shell? Guts, yes. innards, bones, nerves. Oh my god. Next campaign, I'm gonna be a dwarf that plays inside of a mechanical portal. Oh, next campaign, I'm not DMing. With a, with a trench coat then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next campaign, I'm not DMing. Fuck no. it. I don't oh, think you the... would trust any of us to DM. No. Is the, is the, is the other Dutch cook, is the other Dutch geek, geek taking over? He can't even speak. That's gonna be worse. Maybe, maybe next season <laughs> we start a new world. Oh, uh, fucking. If my mother had the wheels, she'd be a bike. Shut the fuck up, dude. Fucking. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what just... the fuck is that? Just oh, reading... no, Gino, calm down. Reading sassy. Is, is that message. a Dutch thing? No, it's just a meme. No. But it's like a sassy sentence reminding me of it. And... It's this cooking show called Ready, Steady, Cook. It's a British thing. And there's like this Italian chef that always like works Gino. on the show. And Gino da Campo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And. and... Fucking one of the people asks him like, oh yeah, but what if this? Da, 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 da. No, there's a what if question. And he's like, he looks at him like deadpan. Well, if my grandmother would have a wheel, she would be a bike. Like, <laughs> it's just so dumb, dude. It's fucking funny. Oh, God. I'm gonna start saying that every time someone says what if to me now. It's so fucking funny. Uh, I'll send you the, the like clip of it after we're done here. Like, appreciate fuck. that. Oh, fuck. I got really, uh, dude, my blood pressure, man. I'm, see, this is why I don't make it past 50 because of this shit. My Did fucking blood pressure, dude, through the fucking oh. roof. Oh, fuck. Uh, what fucking time is it? I mean, about that time. Yeah, it's about that time. So, um, as always, we we end our our, our episode of Dungeon Discord. I mean, with we had another question. Oh, because uh, I saw it in 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 in, in the in the Twitch chat. Did you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, if Abby. you could choose your yeah. own little side quest to have to take the party on, what would it be? Right, right, right. I did see that in chat, and I was gonna address it, and then we were talking about something else, and I forgot about it. Sorry, Abby. Thank God, Shatter's paying attention because I sure as fuck am not. I got carried away about the anatomy of bad. turtles and turtles. A different. <clears throat> Let me scroll up real quick. If you could choose your own little side quest to have to take the party on, what would it be? Okay, that's a, that's a fun little question. Yeah. Um. I mean, that's the thing. That That's scary. Because each player character comes with a backstory that leads into a, a side quest for them to lead the party on. So, like, oh, Jax, what side quest? Like, I know what quest Jax is bringing with him. You know what I mean? Soko knows exactly what. No. <laughs> so, like, it's it's a hard one to, to, to this really... This is my only side quest. Is okay, it? so instead of, like, long story arcs, we'll, we'll, we'll rephrase it a little bit so that it's a little safer. What like one-off, one-session side quest would Jax bring the party along with, along to? To avoid like revealing. We would take his spaceship into the astral sea. He doesn't have a fucking spaceship, does he? Uh, he's gonna build it by then, obviously. Yeah, but everyone else will be fucking dead by the time it's finished. Oh, no, we're all gonna be just hanging out in the astral sea for two hundred years. But how are you gonna get to the astral sea without the rocket that you want to build? Fucking bro, we're buying it. Chatter, please save me. <laughs> He's uh, not even gonna ask me. What again. little side quest would, would, would Jax bring the party on along for? 
Jax, I don't know what Jax was. Oh, uh, fucking Kai. <laughs> Three letters, same middle letter. I was 33% correct with the name. Fuck you. 33% correct. 33% uh, doesn't even get a failing grade. Um, if it was character related, I'm probably... Um... Something related to murder of siblings and a dad. Um... Oh, well. Hello? Oh. Hmm? Oh. Oh, well. Um... If it was more like on the ship kind of thing. <clears throat> Wouldn't say it's like a side quest, but I would probably like like some 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 dumb um Easter egg hunt on the ship kind of thing where you have to like find specific things to make sure the ship can continue the um the journey. So something it's like a little something test like to that. See how well the party knows the ins and outs of a ship and like That's fucked up. Yeah, the ins and outs of a ship and working together to make sure it, it's going to be so, 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 something like that. Something it's like cool. that. It's kind of cool. Like a little. You know, it's like a driving test, but with a ship. Yeah, Jax is against education. What does this light oh. mean? What is. <laughs> what is. What do you do when, when you need what, to. What a... happens if I shoot this thing right up? Oh. What happens if I light a fire on the ship? The ship burns down. Crazy. Or it gets pushed out. Depends. <laughs> yeah, unless, you know, it gets pushed out. Depends who's so, around. You know, depends. Yeah, I mean, started playing with that. Any bit. buckets, dude? Who knows? Any more um, Soko. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you the question again. And if you bring up building a rocket ship for the Astral Sea while you're already in the Astral Sea, I'm going to. I've got something different this time. I got something different. Okay. One. So, Engine. we would take Jax's nuclear submarine that he's built and go find this god of water. Fight him. It's a shot! <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, I'll leave you with a little teaser for next episode, and then we're going to end it. Um, next episode, obviously, we're going to start off with, you know, will they, won't they check out what this white phantom shit is all about. Um, and what I'll say about the ship known as the white phantom is that... Um, it is a ship name renowned among pirates. Uh, I know Soko, you asked if Jax knew, and we were like, oh, we'll, we'll save that role for the beginning of the next session. Um, it's a, it's a well-known ship name, but, oh, how am I gonna fucking word this? Seeing the White Phantom is the first of several omens of some like pirate um what's the word superstition mm. so seeing the Do white phantom like means something more than just oh there's a fucking ghost ship there or whatever the fuck it is it it it, it has more substance to it uh, and i can't wait for you all to kind of learn about that next session it's gonna be fun uh obviously right. i'll probably have to give Jackson and Kai the rundown before stream on Sunday because they would they, 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 they're they experienced pirates, they know but the rest of the party won't so it's gonna be fun, a fun little bit for you guys to I guess explain to them whenever the, whenever it comes up um, but yeah more of that or that and more I should say, this Sunday Dungeon Select starting 2pm Eastern 8pm CET uh, as always be a fucking good time uh on that note in two weeks wait what's the date this sunday three uh this sunday uh, is the 11th. 11th so the 25th would be the closest one to our anniversary right it's the 23rd our... right yeah so sunday the 25th would be like the anniversary stream for dungeons like i guess so like i said before on the anniversary stream we're going to bring back the old characters for a one shot so that's gonna be happening in two weeks so i'm gonna start working on that dad um, <clears throat> so yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody, thanks for being here, boys, appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit here and talk nerdy with me for, uh, for about 90 minutes, um, oh. catch you on Sunday, see, see you all later, <gasps> bye 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 Du 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 dum, bum 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 You gone? Bum bum bum, bum bum bum, du 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 dum and now slowly like fade out just like bum, bum.